How's it going? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to those around the world. Welcome back to another Dead by Daylight video. Today we are featuring Plague on the channel. I really enjoy playing this killer. I'm glad that nobody plays her as much as I would think they would, especially with her recent changes that she got, let alone new perks have been added, considering other killers get involved into the game, get added to the game. And some of these perks make her actually quite strong. We'll be talking about some of those perks, like the Scourge Hooks and stuff, in a future video that I do have for you guys. I'm pretty excited about it. And I know other people probably have already covered it. If they haven't, it's just another killer that people don't play that often, so you don't see Plague played that much. Bro, where are you going? You're like, you're literally in a dead zone out here. There's nowhere for you to go. I should have waited. I made a misplay there. Can I get you sick too, though? Or, or... Okay... You don't know how to walk in the straight line? Confused? Obviously this guy's drunk. Dude, you might have broke your ankles falling off that height. What's wrong with you? Can I get him? Nice. Okay. Wow, he immediately cleansed that already. That's awkward. Anyhow. How Plague works, for those of you that don't know, her first ability is called Vile Pl or Purge. In which she infects objects for about 40 seconds so generators like window seals and stuff you know what i mean she infects anything she touches with her plague now wow it cleansed as well crazy so early five generators left people are already cleansing anyhow when a survivor is fully fully sickened i guess you would say 100 percent, they immediately get the broken status so that means one one m1 from that point on they just get downed Whereas, pallets like this, you don't really have to worry about too much with Plague. Because again, once you fully sicken a survivor, like I said, they automatically get broken status. So eventually, you will catch them with an M1. You will catch them with your, with your power here, Corrupt Purge. Because Corrupt Purge doesn't sicken survivors. It immediately deals damage. It can immediately down you on the second hit. Which, my survivors constantly cleansing... It gives me more of this power. And considering this is the early game, five generators left, they're just cleansing willy-nilly. I'm going to have plenty of these this game, it looks like. But, see? Just cleansed again. And all I'm trying to do is pretty much get as, get them as sick as I possibly can. Dude, I, I like the slug. I love slugging. And I know people hate it because they hate playing against it. Because they don't know how to play against it 9 out of 10. And the best part about it is... Bro... I have I have my power. A pallet's not going to save you. Ah oh, man, what a silly goober! Let's go ahead and hook you up right quick. Let's go over here, I guess, because there's the closest hook to me, and it's far away. Let's see a barbecue can go off here. Make sure you stay sick. Barbecue did not proc, so I'm assuming you guys are within vicinity here. Yeah, there you are. The best part about that is uh, the fact that when they're sick, their audible cues are a lot louder than the normal, like, I'm bleeding type thing, you know what I mean? This is coming from somebody who generally plays Dead by Daylight on 5% volume. Keep that in mind. Yeah, I know, it's crazy. Like, that's the lowest of the lowest of the low. <laughs> but <laughs> that's just a me thing. Bro, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm gonna break this. Got your other boy over there. He's already broken. I hope I can catch him before he cleanses himself too, because he might just cleanse, because apparently that's what these survivors are doing right now. Where'd you go, bud? Nice. Right in the straight line. You gonna drop this pallet too? Nice. Where? You gotta look behind you, buddy. What's wrong with you? Go ahead and hook you up right quick. I should have just left you, to be honest, but it feels like this guy right here is actually trying to do generators. Oh, there goes another one that cleanses. Give me, gives me more of my power, which is great. Keep this plague on this gen here. So what happens is, like I said, she can infect surface areas and other survivors in which survivors can spread it and what have you. Now, the survivors do make audible noises, like they vomit all over the place. And once they do that, they also infect surfaces, which persists for 40 seconds. But either way, like once that survivor gets fully sickened, 100%, they will become broken. Therefore, they only require one more auto, one more M1 to down, which might not seem that difficult, but it is kind of difficult depending on what map you are. Oh, it looks like someone got my totem, but they got the undying totem because, you know, undying being 
undying. It allows us to see allows me to see survivors. Ooh, what are you gonna do here? What are you gonna do here? I have my power. Give that low movement speed. Go ahead, take the vault. That's fine. Deal with the nerd. But it allows me to to see survivors that mess with my totems because the hex retribution is actually really really good, especially with this setup. And considering we're playing in the corner map here, you have so much open spaces in which they can't really bob and weave and duck and dive between obstacles and cars and little houses and all that sort of thing where you can just lob your uh, your power over the cornfield and you will you will hit them Let's see what you're gonna do here what's your next move what is your next move yeah okay so now we're just gonna walk okay cool no problem dude you should have been you could have been long gone by now there's no pallet here what are you gonna do if you go through the window here I mean, I guess that's fine, but I get you sick in here anyway, so I'm cool with it. There goes another one cleansing. Deal with it. So they're all fully cleansed now, but that means I can pick up my powers again. Which is fine by me. A dead hard? No dead hard. I probably made a misplay right there. I should have kept uh, using my power there to get her sick so I can see if I can break her first. So that was my bad. So if she actually gets this power drop on me, then that's that is my fault. But we'll see. We'll see how she plays it. She's not looking behind her. Great. <laughs> she wouldn't even have seen me turn around there. But it's okay. I'm gonna hook you right quick. See if they can get you... Or see if they can come over here and try to waste their time to, to save you. Because again, I have four gens left. And they haven't broken my, uh, my hex perk yet. Which is great. So that means as soon as they jump off a gen, it starts regressing. As soon as I push targets off the gen, it starts regressing. They gotta break my totem. And I'm getting so much value out of it, considering I've already hooked targets quite a bit this game already. I finally finished another gen. This guy's ringing me around this house, which is fine. As soon as I down you here in the basement, buddy, you're staying here. Just letting you know. You ain't going nowhere. And eventually, you will slip up. No one's going for the hook, apparently. Make sure it checks for scratches. Oh, you're crying. I'm sorry. Go ahead and throw some more of that on the hook. Where's your boy at? There's the scratch marks. Oh, dang. I didn't even see that one go past me. That's unfortunate. Definitely my bad. I think he's almost broken. What are you doing? Why? Dude, you have med kits. You can go heal yourself. Like, you've done that so many times this round. But, I feel bad for you, to be honest, because you're going to the basement. Considering you like this house so much, you can chill down here for a little while. Your friends will come get you, right? It's a game plan. There goes. She cleansed as well. That allows me to get my power again. Go and get that infected one more time so that stays there in case they, they come back. Which they should come back right now, because again, they have gen three gens up. They have to get these gens done. There he goes. Another cleanse. Which is fine. Because we do have our power right now. I think they're going to go for the, the unhooking. I think that's the game plan right now. Let's see. Let's see. Yep, there's the scratch marks. And here we go. Sweet. Predictable. Deal with it. I don't know how I didn't hit you with that, to be honest. Okay, borrow time for you. And you're down. That's huge right there, by the way, considering he got downed inside that house. Or inside the shack here. It's huge. Just because they have to actually come in to heal him. Unless he crawls out. Alright, you're way over there. I have, I have enough time to get down here, I think. I might not, to be honest. That might have been a misplay. We'll see. Yep. That's fine. She's down again. Hopefully I can catch this man. Yeah, I got you. Cool. We got two two slugged right now. One on hook. Might as well add this guy on a hook just in case the other one has DS. I don't want to pick him up and him run down here and rescue the survivors. That's not a good idea. 
I might as well just wait to slug him on the ground. Let him stay there for a while. Maybe the other one will come to him and start healing. That's the game plan. And she is, actually. He's down again. Which is great. Alright, how are you going to play that? You really went straight for the basement. This is what you're not supposed to do at a stoplight, guys. Right here. Really? You're going to try to unhook in front of me? What the heck, man? Holy crap. But overall, man, right now I'm having so much fun with Plague. There will be Spirit. Spirit is coming back to the channel, obviously. My main killer. Although she has been changed and stuff, there's other killers that I will be uh, featuring here as well. I think Plague... Um, I want to I wanna learn a couple of the other killers instead of just playing Spirit all the time. It's like learning ins and outs of Spirit allows you to... She's a little bit more complex. Not necessarily complex. She's a little bit more difficult than some of the other killers. So playing some of the easier killers after playing Spirit for so long might not be as difficult, but we'll see because every killer has its own power, own uniqueness. I thought they were here inside this locker because there's blood trail there, but she, she ran in and must have ran back out. What, what's your play here? Just to run, hold W in a straight line? Really? All right, holding forward. Where you at, though? Where you at, though? Nice. You run to the pallet for some reason. Cool. Guess that's it for you, girly. Enjoy it. Go ahead and pick up this 4K right quick. No big deal. Like I said, I'm having so much fun playing playing Plague right now. So for those of you who haven't picked up this killer or are on the fence about it, give her a try. She just takes some getting used to, but once you do, she's so much fun. Hands down. One of my favorite killers in the game right now. Outside the spirit. But either way, this has been Paul's Blaze. Hopefully you guys smash that like button. Come join that Discord. Come tell me I suck. It is what it is. I will catch you guys in the very next Dead by Daylight episode. Stay safe out there. I'll see y'all later.